Are you done talking? Thank you. All right. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. And there was blood everywhere. I died. But I came back. I don't know. I did that. Oh, oh this was terrible. Does it say pulp? All right. Do I have a cheesy smile? Hello? No, I'm not busy. Wait, eyebrows. <coughs> All right, what? What's your refill policies on these? Hi, I'm... Hi, my name is Abby Terry. Welcome to our weekly news show. <coughs> this week we'll be talking about Florence Nightingale. We're talking about her because it's National Nurses Day on Mother's Day. It's also the day she was born. If you don't like stuff like gross, I'd switch to another video. Oh, oh this was terrible. All right, in the olden days, people weren't very smart about in hospitals. So in hospitals, if someone died on a bed, they wouldn't change the sheets, they wouldn't clean the sheets, they'd put a new person on, they'd get sick and die. And if you put like a bandage, you know, like a, a wrapped, you know, they'd take it off if what, when they died and they'd put it on another person. And there was blood everywhere. They got, it, it was all over the nurses, too. There was, like, wrappers and, like, blood. And germs were everywhere. The toilets were blocked. You had to have, like, gloves to turn the water on. She cleaned the entire hospital and bought new beds. All of her savings from her job, she put into the hospital. And um, she got sick like typhoid fever or something. It was some kind of bad fever, and she almost died. But she came back. I died, but I came back. I don't know, edit that. She changed the, the ways hospitals do hygiene. Yeah, like, they, they didn't know germs were a thing. If a soldier had been dying, they'd and it was blood all over. You know what would happen? They take the bandages off the blood bandages that were covered in blood and disgusting things and put it on another person. She is like, brah, you gotta stop doing this. And everyone's like, no, I don't. This is how we keep care of them. They're just dying. They're just dying. And there she was like, oh, really? And everyone kept dying, and then she cleaned the place up. It was giving everyone new bandages, and they were like, sorry. And I just want to take a minute and say thank you to all the nurses. And, Auntie M, if you're watching this video, prob probably can't because you're from in England, and you don't have much time to be on your phone. But if you're watching this video, it will soon be National U Day. Well, not National U Day, but you know you're a nurse. Sorry, I'm getting off track. See ya. She was such an important person in history because she changed the way that we do hygiene today. But it's in women's history, not men's, in our history, not men's, in women's history. And that's it for this week in history. Now we're going to go to Phoebe for what she made this week. I made a Joseph coat. I made it for Abby. But it fits me. Sort of. Okay. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Thanks for Phoebe. Now we're going to answer our question of the week. At Pam Slinger 1043. Since you are a world traveler, what is my favorite place to travel to and why? England. This is a big thought, England. Because Bonnie, uh, there's a, there's my aunt's there, Auntie M, and she has a gorgeous little baby named Bonnie and a cat named Simba and they're adorable and we play games together me and Bonnie and Auntie M plays with me sometimes and and I, I, I just think it's so nice there and it's really pretty in England and there's lots of con and there's lots of countryside and I love the mud everywhere mud so fun because it rains a lot there and there's lots of mud and there are trails dirt trails and there and and, it, and when it rains, 
it's it's like mud it's just mud there's like nothing there's just mud and i have boots wellies little wellies for england and i just stomp all in the mud it's glorious and that's my favorite place to travel to remember to comment below what you'd like me to answer next week Now, since it's Mother's Day, we'll be doing top 10 things for what you should get for your mother on Mother's Day. Number one, make a book of like uh, coupons, like this coup, like not like real poop coupons, like write it on a paper. This coupon is real for one hug, or this coupon is real for your kid's going to have you're gonna your kids gonna clean up your kitchen number two you should make a so you should get like a piece of wood that's like like that and then like has like like this long part and then that like that you should have string hot glue it and then have and then hot glue um strings you should have at least 12 strings and then hot glue uh beach glass to it and make a nice chandelier number three buy her a puppy Number four, build her cabin. Number five, buy her a ticket to a cruise. Number six, take her out to dinner. Number seven, we all have a movie night and she gets to pick the movie. Number eight, do her laundry. Number nine, buy her a snow globe. And number 10, finally, buy her flowers. And that's all for this top 10 things of the week. And thanks, that's all for this week. We'll see you next week. Remember to comment if you have any questions for me. All right, thanks, bye. See you next week. Now I am out. And I'm moving now. I'm out. I'm taking my stuff. I'm leaving. I'm not even taking my stuff. I'm out. Peace. Now I'm out, out. Ooh, a piece of pie is free.